Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in again. As, of, as you've seen on the, in the title of this video, we're gonna upgrade my lighting game today. And I've been scouring the internet for all sorts of options. And most of them are these massive soft boxes. And since I don't have such a big studio slash house, um, I decided to look for something else. Um, look for something that isn't as deep as a softbox. So what I came up with was this guy. It's the Elgato Keylight. It's an LED panel. It's not so, because of that, it's not so thick, but you will see that in a moment. And uh, I'll take you along for the ride, how to set this thing up and uh, show you all the steps needed for that. And I'll show you what's in the box and of course uh, how big of an upgrade it is over what I have right now. Okay, so now we're going to unbox this thing. And let's see what's all inside. Let me flip it over. And immediately a giant instructions board pop up, pops up as you can see. So we're gonna follow this as we get to that in setting it up. I'll just leave the box right here for now. First, we see the key light itself. Over here, we have the stand, which you can mount it to your desk. And here is probably the power brick, which we also be needing. And all the plugs for all over the world. This is the EU plug, which I will be needing. So I'll leave this one aside, put the rest back. I see a uh, UK plug, a USA plug. I think this is an Asian plug. So everything here needed for wherever you are in the world. I'm going to lay this one down. I'm going to set up the stand already. This way you can see what I mean. It comes with a grip. Let me just extend it a little bit so that I can mount it to my desk. Oh. Just as easy as that. And now let's inspect this thing. And here you have it. The Agata key light. As I said, it's not so thick. That would come in handy for even when you're streaming and your desk is tight against the wall. Then you only mount this to your desk at the, at the back and then you have this piece um shining light at you instead of a massive softbox uh, for which you need to pull your desk back um there's also some sort of engraving on the back it's made from uh yeah what is it i think it's steel or aluminum also the the light panel itself has a little texture 
uh, there are mounting points on all four sides of the panel and you can mount it to the stand on the back we also found find the DC power plug and the power switch there are no um, configuration knobs on the key light itself that's because it's a Wi-Fi light uh, you configure it through an app on your PC or Mac or on your uh, Android phone on, or, or your uh, iPhone and that way you can control your lighting uh, you can pair them up with more lights but I will get to that uh, later and I will show you how to set it up in the app but first we're gonna mount it to the pole and as you can see it can move in all directions so that's quite handy I'm gonna set it stuck for there and it just goes on like that and then you can adjust it to wherever you want so I'm going to set it a little bit like this so that I can see it as well <clears throat> now we're gonna take the power brick and make cable loose plug it in leave this one Okay, let's see how much light it gives. Okay, that was a lot brighter than I anticipated. This is way better. Okay, now to set it up, the only thing you'll need for now is the power brick, the light itself and the stand or if you have something else to mount it on. And we need a PC or a phone. I'll be using my laptop for now. Okay, so now that I have my laptop in front of me, we open up our browser and we go to Elgato. Then we go to the Elgato website. And in the top right corner, we have the downloads button. So we navigate to that, then we go a little bit down, except for cookies. Everybody loves their cookies. More cookies for me. Okay, we want the control center for Windows. So we're gonna download that. And it's gonna download your package. And after it's done, we can install it. Next accept the terms of the license agreement, next, next, and install. Now we're gonna wait for a bit. I already see a window pop up right here. And as you can see in the system tray, there's an Elgato control center. We want to add a new accessory. We're gonna connect to this. Then you can select your Wi-Fi network. It only works on the 2.4 gigahertz uh, band. So we're gonna select my network and then we fill in the password. We're gonna connect it. And after that's done, I'll get back to you. Okay, so as you now can see, Elgato Keylight DD2D connected to Dratus Lusu successfully. Now we want to finish this and already the control center popped up. In here, 
you can change the color temperature make it a little bit cooler which is more of a blue tint or make it warmer which more goes to uh, yellowish orange I'm gonna leave it at the white for now yeah 4800 Kelvin seems good the brightness is now at 20% Okay, that thing is a whole lot brighter than the light that I already have. Damn. This is the lowest setting, <clears throat> 3%. But just as easy as it is, you can switch it on, you can switch it off, you can change the lighting, the, the brightness of it. And if you even have more of them, you can link them together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this thing up uh, behind my camera, switch down the light that I've, I'm already using, switch down all the other lights as well. <clears throat> and then I'm going to use this light to light up my stream only, of the video only. So let me just do that and I'll be right back at you. Okay, so now that I've set everything up, I've turned down all the lighting here. We're gonna go to the Elgato control app, the control center, and I'm gonna switch it on, on the lowest brightness. So that's this. And now I'm going to crank it up. 5%, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, this is 10%, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20, it's already at quite a difference, 30, 40, 50, okay, it's starting to get really bright, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, this thing, I really have to turn it lower because if you would use this while streaming on full brightness, that wouldn't be good for you. So I'll just leave it at half of it. But as you can see, we can easily tweak the color tone of the light, make it a little bit hotter. The entire room is orange now. Make it a little bit colder, make it blue. Or just a little bit in between, give it a white lighting. So yeah. There you have it. You can, as I said, you can link more of them uh, in the same control center. You can set them up individually or link them together. Uh, as you just saw, setting, them, setting it up was easy. As it was just child's play. So from now on, my videos will have better lighting. I can guarantee you that. And um, yeah, I really hope that you like this video. Um, with this light, I can easily make more and uh, make sure that you subscribe and um, give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what you think about the Elgato key light. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.